What's going on, y'all? Derek Bourgeois here. I'm a realtor in the greater Nashville area. You can find me at fitdadrealtor.com. Um, today, I'm doing a video on buying a new house versus buying a old house and the pros and cons of each. Um, we just bought a new house, which is interesting because I never thought I'd be the kind of person that would buy a new house uh, because we'll, we'll get into it later. And because a lot of these, we'll talk about cons, right? Uh, quick history. We relocated to Lebanon, Tennessee about two years ago. We've been looking for a house. We bought a house when we got here. Um, we rehabbed it. We sold it to make a little bit more money because why wouldn't you um, in that crazy market? And we were renting an apartment looking for a house. We had like three or four under contract while we were here, mostly all old houses. Um, and then we decided on a new house in a planned neighborhood, planned development, um, which was great. It kept my daughter in her school district and um, there's some benefits and I'm really starting to love this new house stuff. So let's get into the pros and cons of a new house first, um, just because I've been making a list. And now it's time for the video. So new houses are built with up-to-date building codes and are safer and more energy efficient. That shouldn't be a surprise. Everything's new, new codes, new updates, all that fun stuff. They're energy efficient. The, the uh, insulation is new, right? It's a smart home. Uh, and so therefore, like things like heating and cooling are a little bit more efficient, which is great. New, uh, new houses um, have a modern design layout with the latest amenities. This is true. Like I said, it's a smart home. We've got like a ring and everything is smart in here. Like I can control our garage door if, um, actually, I don't even have to control the garage door. Ale uh, Amazon can just deliver my pocket packages into my garage through like a thing and it's all like done. It's so, there's a lot of nice stuff there. Um, and so our house is a smart house. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> um, new houses come with warranties. Uh, if you saw the video of my home tour, which I'll post here, um, in that home tour, you saw a bunch of blue sticker tape all over the wall because our home was under warranty. And one of the things that they do for you when your house is under warranty is they come repaint the walls one month after you move in because um, they know you're going to come in and scratch everything up and all that stuff. So uh, they came in and repainted our walls, which was really nice, honestly. Now, I will say this, the paint that we have in here it's all changing. It's all going to change eventually because this is basically the paint that they use is like a primer coat. It's not like a nice paint and it gets scuffed up very easy. Um, and we have kids. So not only does it get scuffed up, but there are fingerprints and handprints and mud prints. And, and I'm also, <laughs> I'm not going to pretend that I'm also not doing these things as well. I'm touching walls with my fingers and they're dirty and there's just stuff all over the place. So, you know, while they come and repaint it, it's not the nicest paint, but we will repaint, which is great. Um, all right, little to no maintenance is required. That kind of comes with, you know, buying something new. It's all new. So there's not a lot of like upkeep and stuff, which is really nice. Um, yeah, that's, there's, there's that part of it. So we, we, we moved in, which is different than our old house in Seattle, which was a very old house, right? It was built in 1904. So I'll get into the pros and cons of that one here in a second. All right, now cons of buying a new house. Um, now they often cost more than a old house, right? I mean, it's new. It's like buying a new car. There's a little bit of a premium when you're buying new. So price-wise, they're going to be a little bit more. So this house, if it was, you know, five years old or 10 years old or 20 years old in the neighborhood right next door, probably wouldn't have been as much, right? Um, everything has been used a little bit more. So there's that. Um, new houses are often built small and in kind of cookie cutter neighborhoods. Hence our house. We are definitely in one of those neighborhoods where all the houses, now maybe not the same floor plan, but they all look the same, right? It's the same builder, it's the same, you know, siding. And when you go into a house, you know, if we go to have dinner with our neighbors, um, they've got the same floor and the same cabinets and like everything's the same in all of our homes. Um, there's some color difference, but for the most part, it's all the same. It's cookie cutter. Um, so yeah, the other thing is that there's small lots, right? So this could be a pro or a con for you. Um, we have a very small lot, which means, now this is nice. We don't have a lot of yard to take care of. So that is a plus, um, 
for that. Like if we were to buy an older home, which is usually on more land, we'd have more yard to take care of. So this is a small yard. In fact, so small that I'm like, maybe we should just get turf. That would be really easy. I don't know. We're still playing around with that. If you think that's a great idea or if you, or if your house has turf and you know anything about it, comment below because I'd love to hear your experience with turf. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I know that would be really easy. All right. Um, so neighborhoods might be lacking charm and or character, which is absolutely true. This um, neighborhood, it doesn't have like established, you know, greenery and trees and stuff as an older neighborhood does. Now, will this one get there? Sure. You know, look at this neighborhood in 20 years. It's going to look different than it does today. But as of right now, there's not a lot of charm and character, but there's not a lot you can do about that. Um, you know, mature landscaping is something that just takes time. And with a new built neighborhood, that's what's going to take time. Now, the one benefit we have in this specific neighborhood is it was built on an old golf course. So they kept the, the ponds, which is kind of cool. So we actually have like some water features in our neighborhood. Um, and they're building a pool, which while uh, isn't like a you know, landscaping thing, it will be nice to have in the summertime. So that's like a, a the amenities are nice in some of these neighborhoods. Um, yeah, and obviously we had to wait. We put a down payment on this house God, eight months before it was even built, right? Like we were showing up here, when we put our down payment on, this was just dirt. And so it took a while to build. You had to wait for it to get built. Um, and it just so when you move into a home that's already there you just move into a home that's already there so a new built home sometimes takes longer to get into right there are homes that my family is looking at in our same neighborhood that aren't built yet you know they're just looking at plans online they're like oh that might be nice so that's another thing also all right let's talk about pros of buying an old house so in seattle our like i said our house was built in 1904 i love old houses um I love new houses. I also really love old houses. I don't, I, you know, I'm, I can go either way at this point as far as which one I think is better, um, but the character in an old house, right? Even something built in like the 70s or 80s has this like character uh, that you don't get in a new house. Um, like it or not, there's history there. Um, and the, and the older you get, the more history and the cooler the kind of the things become, at least in my mind. Some people hate that sort of stuff. But, you know, that's that's part of buying an old house is you buy character. And if you haven't seen, I did a home tour of a house here in Lebanon, still on the market, by the way, as of, what day is today? It's February 3rd, uh, still on the market. And it's an old house, right? It's a Turner, turn of the century house. I think it was built in 1906 or 1912 or something like that. Gorgeous house, tons of character. Love that house. Um, yeah, and another thing that kind of comes along with that is not just character for the house, but character for the neighborhood, right? So another pro is like you're usually buying in an established neighborhood. A house that's been there since 1912 has mature landscaping, right? The little tree in my front yard that I have in my new house is a mighty oak over there, right? Because it has had over a hundred years to grow. Now, Good or bad, now you've got stuff you got to clean under your gutters. Maybe it's growing over your house. It's something you have to deal with, but it's mature landscaping, and that's really nice. Um, there are also older houses are also generally located closer to established neighborhoods, established areas of town. Like this, this house that I went to show um, at the beginning of the month, the older home was like a block or two away from town square, which is like amazing, right? So it's like usually they're located closer to established neighborhoods and schools and and restaurants and you know city centers that sort of stuff which is really cool um let's see here usually built on larger lots pro or con i don't know but having a little bit extra land for some people is a good thing right you know you're further away from your neighbors all that stuff and so that can be nice um i hear from a lot of people who don't have kids and they like don't want to necessarily be close to people if you've got kids you know, maybe looking at a newer lot or a newer home in a neighborhood with lots of other kids is nice. Like I wasn't ready for it, but I love the fact that my daughter can run out and play because we live so close to the neighbors. Um, but an older home, more lot, more land around you. So that's kind of nice as well. And then older homes per square footage can be less expensive, right? Per square foot. So, you know, like we talked about before, an older home in a, you know, different neighborhood that's about the same size might cost a little bit less. Um, depending on what they've done to it also. Updates and all that stuff, you know. 
Um, and sometimes older homes, you, you can get discounts because they need to be rehabbed. So keeping that in mind, an older home you might be able to get a deal on. Let's talk about cons. I kind of touched on some of them already, but cons of buying an old house, they require more maintenance. We know this a lot because when we moved, when we moved into our house in Seattle, like right away it needed a new roof, it needed a sub pump, our basement leaked, um, it needed a sewer replaced, a sewer line replaced. There were just so many big projects in our house. So we ended up redoing the flooring. Um, there was, seemed like there was always something that was breaking in that house. And it was an old house, so understandable. Um, when we first moved in, there was still some knob and tube wiring that needed to be replaced and a lighting that needed to be redone. So it was just, when you buy an old house, you, there's gonna be more maintenance. Um, so be prepared for that. Um, they might not have the latest amenities, um, updated kitchens, updated bathrooms, modern things. Um, that's something that you give them. You're, and, and a lot of times, I say this as a con, but a lot of times that's the reason you're buying it, right? You're buying it because it doesn't have those things. And that's the charm and, and the cool stuff that you're looking for. So it may not have those things, but also that might be the reason you're buying it. So pro or con there, I don't know, but it doesn't have them. Um, they also might not meet current building codes. That's something you have to look into before you buy an old house is like, does this meet code and does it need to be brought up to code for my own safety and my family's safety when we live inside of it? So just something to keep in mind, especially here in the, in the South, like we see homes that are built in the 1800s. There's no way those are up to code, right? Whether it's plumbing, electrical, all this stuff. Like I said, we had knob and tube in our house in Seattle. There might be wiring that's not up to code that you might need to replace or want to replace for sure before you move in. So bringing an older home up to code, uh, you know, is something you have to think about. And then the other thing kind of partial with this is that they used hazardous materials back in the day to build these homes, right? We all know about asbestos because when you bought a home, you had to sign an asbestos or a lead paint, right? Like we were crazy back in the day. We might be crazy now. We have no idea some of the stuff that we have in here might be, might be damaging, but we definitely know that those were damaging asbestos, lead paint, a lot of homes back in the day were, were built and have those things in them. So it's something else you have to worry about when getting into an old home. Um, so, you know, always weighing the pros and cons of buying an older home versus a newer home, you know, and then those kind of homes in between, right? Like I said, in the 80s, they weren't using asbestos. They weren't using lead paint. Those are relatively safe homes. They've been lived in. Maybe, maybe that's about as old as you want to go. Um, maybe you love the character of a Victorian home built, you know, in 1850, there's some things you're gonna to have to look into, but also what a cool home that's gonna be, right? It's gonna be gorgeous probably with a lot of character. Um, so pros and cons, you always gotta weigh those things and uh, however you wanna go down those roads, I would love to go show you some homes, whether they're brand new in my neighborhood or some other neighborhood, or, um, or if you wanna go find that 1850 Victorian uh, over by Cumberland, I love those homes as well. We almost bought it's so cool. Um, but all that being said, if you're looking to buy a home in the greater Nashville area, middle Tennessee area, uh, and you're looking for a realtor, all my contact information is down below. You can find me at fitdadrealtor.com um, or you can call me. Text message is great. Um, it's a really fast way to get a hold of me. Anyway, have a great rest of your day and talk to you soon. Bye.